So how do I summarise this brilliant book? Um, it's set in World War II and it's fundamentally about two people who have been hurt by life who are thrown together. It's about young Willie Beach who is a sad and deprived child and he's evacuated out of London um, and he finds happiness under the care of old Tom Oakley who's also had his fair share of tragedy. It's a brilliant book uh, with a brilliant story. Its main themes are friendship, compassion and education. It's about how together we can kind of heal wounds of abuse and violence. It's the kind of triumph of the spirit, um, sort of being pulled from the jaws of violence and tragedy. It really is a great read. Okay, so we chose Goodnight Mr. Tom this year because there is just so much to work with. It's a book that works on so many levels. And since its publication, it's had so many different covers. So this time, sort of, it's going to be really, really interesting to see what new ideas and what new angles the students can bring to it. Because part of this competition is actually about opening up books and making sure that books are still relevant today to today's kids, so even though this was published back in the early 80s. It is still a relevant book. It's still a book that we want children of today to pick up. So in the winning cover design, uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for a connection, we're looking for something that kind of sparks an emotion, both powerfully and also appropriately. We're looking for inspired and inspiring thinking, um, like a clear vision that really communicates the book in an instant. We're looking for beauty, I look for originality. Really importantly, I look for attention to detail and skill in execution. One of the real main things to think about is that we get hundreds of entries for this competition and so we are opening PDFs of your cover images that you have been working on for hours and hours and hours. Um, we look at them and we will know in an instant pretty much if they're going to make it through to the next stage. The challenge of designing any cover really is kind of how to distill the essence of the story down into like one striking image. But there are particular challenges for designing for children's books covers basically, because it's not just about making something look good, it's got to work, it's got to function. And in this case as the kind of window into the world within the book, the story, and it's got to attract not just the end reader, i.e. the child, um, but also the parents, grandparents, teachers, friends, Anyone who might be buying books for children, if they don't want to pick it up, then it's possibly not going to get into the kids' hands. Designing great covers is not straightforward. It does require loads of imagination, loads of skill. And designing for children, I think, really goes right to the heart of what being a cover designer is, because you've got to, you've got to come up with an image, a concept, that appeals to so many different people, but, well, instantly makes you think, I know what that book's about. Three practical tips. My first one seems really, really obvious, but please read the book. Don't just rely on online summaries for the story. You need to immerse yourself in that story to be able to come up uh, with the best design. Don't get distracted by the TV adaptation either. My second tip would be, at the beginning, don't overthink it. As you're reading the book, jot some ideas down, but then just have fun, play with lots of ideas, kind of get them down on paper, kind of thing, keep your audience in mind, and then start, start printing things out to size. You know, you're designing for a book, which is a physical object, so you need to make sure that it's going to look good on the actual book, but then also you do need to look at your image as a small thumbnail, sort of, so stick a JPEG on your phone and see how that works, imagining you're the buyer online. And my final top tip is don't stick to a great concept if ultimately it just doesn't work for the target audience. It doesn't matter if it looks beautiful um, and you think it's cool and the colours are great. Um, if it is not speaking to the kids who you want to pick up the book to read it, then it doesn't work. Move on, do something else. And so I just want to say a massive good luck to you all. I hope you really enjoy designing the cover for Goodnight Mr Tom. I know I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Uh, so go for it.